Imagine a train that glides on a cushion of air powered by magnetic force. It travels so fast it can go from New York City to Washington DC in under 30 minutes. This isn't science fiction, it's reality in Shanghai. But this train is just a glimpse of a much bigger transformation. China has, in a single generation, built the foundations for a new era. From space, you can see the Great Wall. But now, new wonders shine. Networks of highways and high-speed rails connecting cities of staggering size. These are the arteries of modern China, moving people, goods and ideas at unprecedented speed. This is more than construction. It's a declaration of ambition. What does it take to build a nation? More than bricks and mortar, it takes vision and collective will. In China, that vision is to build bridges that span impossible distances, airports that look futuristic, and cities rising from farmland. This is the story of the concrete dragon, a symbol of human ingenuity transforming the lives of over a billion people. But it's not just about engineering marvels, it's about people. The farmer who can now sell produce in distant cities in a single morning, the student who travels home for the holidays on the world's fastest trains. The factory worker whose job exists because a new port connects her products to the world. We'll explore how this came to be. We'll look at the grand plans, the incredible machines and the human hands that turned blueprints into reality. This is China's infrastructure revolution. It's a journey of ambition, speed and transformation. And it's changing the world as we know it. In China, China speed means building at a pace that seems impossible elsewhere. Skyscrapers rise in weeks, bridges swing into place in hours, and hospitals are built in days. What sounds miraculous abroad is becoming routine in China. The scale is just as staggering. China's high-speed rail network is longer than the rest of the world's combined. Dozens of airports, hundreds of bridges, and thousands of miles of highways are built every year. It's as if an entire continent is being upgraded at once. How is this possible? It starts with thinking big. Planning not just for years, but for decades. Planners design entire regions, connecting cities into massive urban clusters. Projects are integrated. A new port links to railways and highways, all planned together. This holistic approach avoids bottlenecks and delays. Subway lines, power grids, water and communications are coordinated from the start. The result is infrastructure that's vast, advanced and cohesive. It's the physical expression of a nation moving in unison. China's speed and scale are unmatched. It's not just about building fast, it's about building smart. And it's reshaping the country at a breathtaking pace. In much of the world, building infrastructure is slow and complicated. In China, the government takes the lead, starting with a detailed five-year plan. These plans set clear national goals with infrastructure always at the core. Centralized planning gives China a huge advantage. Priorities are set, resources are mobilized, and projects move quickly. State-owned banks provide financing and state-owned companies build. Land is acquired efficiently, avoiding years of delays. Local governments align their plans with the national strategy, creating a cascade of coordinated development. A city designated as a tech hub gets the airport, railways and fibre optic cables it needs. This top-down approach enables decisive action and rapid progress, but it comes with trade-offs. Decisions are made by a small group and public debate is limited. The result is speed and efficiency, but sometimes at the cost of consensus. China's system is designed for action. It's how the country can build a dam the size of the Three Gorges or an airport like Daxing. It's a model of nation building that's unique in the modern world. China's infrastructure boom isn't just about impressive projects. It's the backbone of its economic strategy. As manufacturing and exports matured, China needed a strong domestic economy. Roads, railways and ports connect people and markets, fueling internal growth. A new highway into a rural region does more than shorten travel times. It lets farmers sell fresh crops in cities, helps factories ship goods and brings tourists to remote areas. Every bridge and road unlocks economic potential once trapped by geography. This construction boom is also a massive job creator, providing stable work for millions and lifting hundreds of millions out of poverty. Infrastructure makes China more competitive globally. Goods move quickly from inland factories to coastal ports, lowering costs and attracting investment. 
Modern airports and reliable power grids draw international companies. Infrastructure is China's welcome map to the world. It's a long-term investment that pays dividends for decades. The result a more connected, prosperous and competitive nation. China's growth story is built on concrete, steel and vision, and it's transforming lives across the country. This is the engine driving China's rise. Some projects are so massive they become national symbols. The Three Gorges Dam, the world's largest power station, tamed the Yangtze River and generates clean energy. Daxing International Airport in Beijing, built in under five years, is a marvel of design and efficiency. But the most transformative project is China's high-speed rail network, over 45,000 kilometers built in less than two decades. Trains running at 350 kilometers per h have redefined time and distance, connecting major cities in hours. The Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge, the world's longest sea crossing, and the Shanghai Tower, a twisting skyscraper, are other icons. Each mega project tells a story of overcoming technical challenges and mobilizing vast resources. These feats are more than engineering, they're statements of ambition. They make China feel smaller, more connected, and more unified. Mega projects are the landmarks of a nation on the move, and they're changing what's possible for the world. Building at this scale requires more than vision. It demands mastery of technology and skill. China leads in advanced construction methods like prefabrication. Bridges, buildings and tunnels are made in factories, then assembled on site. This speeds up work, improves safety and ensures quality. High-speed rail lines use factory cast viaducts, lifted into place by giant cranes, a symphony of logistics and engineering. Technology is everywhere, computer models, drones for surveying and massive tunnel boring machines. These tools let China tackle projects once thought impossible, like railways across the Tibetan Plateau. But technology is only half the story. China's workforce, engineers, technicians and builders, has decades of experience. Their expertise and dedication turn blueprints into reality. The synergy of skilled labor and cutting-edge tech is China's secret weapon. It's how the country builds so much, so fast. Human skill and innovation are at the heart of every project, and that's what makes China's infrastructure world-class. China's building boom doesn't stop at its borders. The Belt and Road Initiative is a global strategy to fund and build infrastructure across Asia, Africa, Europe and beyond. Inspired by the ancient Silk Road, it aims to create new economic corridors, overland belts of railways and highways, and maritime roads of seaports. China is financing and constructing power plants, railways and ports in dozens of countries. For developing nations, it's a chance to grow with new infrastructure. China provides loans, expertise and construction services, filling gaps many countries can't address alone. The initiative boosts trade and economic growth, but it's also strategic for China, opening new markets, securing resources and extending influence. It keeps Chinese construction giants busy as domestic projects slow. By building abroad, China is reshaping the global economic map. The Belt and Road is bold, controversial and transformative. It's China's bid to be the world's builder, and it's changing the way nations connect. China's rapid growth comes with challenges. Ghost cities, vast, empty developments show the risks of building too much too fast. Much of the boom is financed by debt, leaving some provinces struggling to repay loans. Some high-speed rail lines aren't profitable and need government support. The environmental toll is huge steel and cement production pollute, and mega dams have displaced millions and altered ecosystems. China is investing in green energy, but the legacy of rapid carbon-intensive growth remains. Social costs are real to land disputes and overlooked community needs. The era of building for building's sake is ending. The new challenge is making infrastructure more efficient, sustainable and people-focused. China must balance growth with responsibility. The next chapter is about smarter, greener development. We've seen a nation transformed by speed, scale and vision. China's infrastructure is more than projects. It's the lifeblood of a superpower. It's changed lives, connected cities and projected influence worldwide. China is now building for the world, shaping trade and communication for the 21st century. 
But this story is also a lesson unified vision, achieves wonders, but brings risks, debt, environmental costs, and social challenges. China's journey is a case study in modern nation building. As the world changes, we must ask, what are we building for? Is it to conquer nature, project power, or bring people closer together? The great projects of our time connect us in ways never imagined. The true purpose of building is a question for us all.